What's up, Madden 15 Gamers? Welcome back to another video, guys. I'm hoping that this video will have fixed the audio problems that I've been having lately. Uh, we're going to be trying to get some more videos out. just had a lot of trouble with this uh, new microphone that I've got, but uh, hopefully this will be uh, solving that problem. If you guys have questions, uh, if you leave them in the comments, I will try to answer them on the next video. Uh, I'll tr I probably won't be posting a whole lot of responses in the comment section, uh, simply because uh, I just don't have time to do that at this point. Uh, but real quick here, guys, I want to show you a little bit of how I like to run the ball in Madden uh, in Madden 15. Madden 15 has changed the game running wise. It is a little bit different uh, than it was uh, in the previous Madden. I mean, the previous Madden you could use buck sweep, strong power runs like that, and it was very difficult to stop. Um, this year, there is more of the same. You, you know, power runs are a little bit more uh, useful in my opinion, but uh, there is a little bit different way you need to run them. So, uh, w one of my favorite running plays this year comes out of the pistol playbook, and it's in the pistol ace formation. And uh, the, the play that we're going to be discussing is the strong power, but I'm going to show you uh, another run off that as well. Okay, so the strong power uh, this season, as you see here, I mean, you get decent blocking just like last year, and you get to the edge, and, and, and you know, I mean, it is a really good run. Uh, but it is one of those runs where last year you could kind of like really, uh, you know, really kind of force feed it down your opponent's neck. And uh, we're going to show you real quickly here. One and another thing, guys, you don't want to turbo until you actually get through the hole uh, and get into the second level. You really uh, want to be very leery of turboing, in my opinion, just because uh, I I think that the blockers get a little bit easier block shed as soon as you start turboing. And uh, it's just my personal opinion. And as you see, the strong power is getting good gains. We're getting to the second level uh, against this standard 4-3 sack defense. Um, but real quick, I want to show you something that the defense could potentially do. Uh, some very, very simple and very minor adjustment that they could do to uh, slow this down just a little bit. And uh, it's 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 the uh, addition of the new formations this year in Madden 15 that they've kind of tried to uh, slow down the running game. The 4-3 wide nine. Um, is the play that we're going to be discussing today, and we're going to be using the cover two invert uh, as our example. And you see the cover two invert is going to bring the safeties down in the box. You see that you're now facing uh, a nine-man front here, and it's just going to be a little bit more difficult to get to that uh, edge that we really like to get to uh, and we're, when we're running the strong power because it is an outside run. It is uh, something that does threaten the perimeter. It's a big play run, but it's very it's it's a lot more difficult to break those big gains. I mean, we're just calling a stock four three stack wide nine here, cover two invert, and that we're not doing anything to it. I mean, that time we got through, but that's a rarity in this formation. So I want to give you a complimentary run, uh, especially for when you're facing like the wide nine formations and they're starting to shut down your your strong power. Uh, one of the things that I've been finding that really works well for me is to use the, the half-pack standard power with only one pulling guard as opposed to two. And the reason for that is because I think you get just a little bit better of a seal uh, in terms of the way that the run is actually working. And you see here, we're just going to call the regular power O. Uh, but in terms of the way the run is actually working, you've got a little bit more flexibility. You can cut it upfield or you can cut it to the outside. Um, and we'll show you here what I'm trying to get at here from this, from this look here. And ooh, we got bottled up in the backfield that time but the power row especially when they're blitzing you now it may not be so here because they are the defense is just in a stock formation play but I, I do see a lot more ability in this running play here to cut it back up the middle so this just might be something that you think about uh, in complementing your strong power running game I, I think the power row is a very underrated run this year especially um, especially when you talk about the defense trying to blitz through to stop the run uh, here you see we finally break a run to the outside on the out, on the outside edge there the beauty of of this is that it allows you to cut the run back in my opinion as you'll see here uh, the run is going to be stopped there and so I'm going to cut it back over the middle and uh, if I break that tackle against Thomas uh, you know I mean we could be talking uh, six points the other uh, for the offense there but uh, just a little bit more versatility with that one and then the other run I want to show you and this is kind of obvious, but uh, I, I just want to kind of just let you guys see what I'm talking about. And I find that it's very difficult to stop. Last year, it was very difficult to stop the inside run, like the halfback dive uh, and the read options. But but this year, what I'm finding more and more is that it's a lot more difficult. Uh, if I can find the running play here, I'm in the pistol playbook. For those of you who don't know uh, what I'm what I'm rocking here, this uh, let's see what we've got. Looks like they only have the, the read option off of that. But if you're running like, um, here it is, the inside zone split. We remember last year, it was, uh, 
it was fairly difficult to stop the inside zone split, in my opinion. I thought it was one of the better runs in the game, especially on current Jim Madden. Uh, and we're going to take a look at the 4-3 wide nine, the same basic play we've been showing you throughout that's been shutting down the outside run. You're see, we're going to now have uh, the opportunity to run inside right in behind the, uh, the the running back that pulls out to seal the edge. And I think this is just a really good play to mix in uh, with your outside running. Something like this uh, can really help uh, I mean, burst your, your running game and maybe spring you for six as we just did there. So just keep that in mind. The running game is a little different. The main thing I wanted to dis, uh, to, to tell you uh, off the top of the back is I don't think that like power sweeps, uh, like the buck sweep, I don't think that it's as good this year as it was last year. But I do think the strong power is still uh, very effective, but only when you mix in this, this inside zone split and even that power O a little bit uh, that was showed out of the pistol A's. The pistol strong is very underrated formation as well this year. Uh, I think it has a lot of things to offer in terms of the run, but uh, more so off the run, uh, even a little better passing than the pistol ace. So you might check that out. Uh, and also the pistol bunch tight end, some pistol plays I would recommend. But I do think running is still very effective this year, and I think it's very effective from the pistol uh, the pistol playbook. So you might check that out, guys. Uh, also, if, remember, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and hope that the audio problems uh, will uh, go away and we can get to some